When Jesus was alive here on earth, one of the things that really got him in trouble was he embarrassed the wrong people. The religious leaders of his day, um, you know, they really considered their appearance and who they were and, and their positions of power. These are, were things that were of great importance to them. And, and Jesus really um, uncovered some of their flaws and pointed them out and, and brought to light what was probably pretty obvious to a lot of people, but was really not discussed. And this upset those religious leaders, and there were consequences um, from that. And of course, the consequences were that they had Jesus arrested, falsely accused, he was beaten, and ultimately crucified. And yet I love Jesus' response. When he's on the cross, he says these words, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. They're not, they don't really know what they do. And, and what I love so much about Jesus is those words, which if you know him, they, they really resonate with you. Those words I know got in my heart and have really helped me. Because when I was uh, in seventh grade, um, started playing school athletics for the first time, and that was a big deal. I always wanted to be an athlete with my dad being a football coach. And my seventh grade year, I played football and basketball and track. And there was a, an award ceremony at the end of the school year. And I didn't go to it, but when I went to school the next day, I found out that I had been awarded the seventh grade athlete of the year award. And it was a big surprise, and everybody was patting me on the back, and teachers were saying, great job, and the coaches were all congratulatory. And I was like, oh, wow, I didn't, you know, didn't see that coming. They gave one athletic award, and I was the one who got it. It felt really special. So moving into my eighth grade year, I had a lot of confidence. Felt good about athletics. Did the same thing, football, basketball, track. Had an even better year, and I really enjoyed that. And that year, for eighth grade, they were having a, a whole sports awards banquet where they were giving away uh, awards in all kinds of different categories, like 20 different awards. And so, you know, leading up to that, I was thinking, which award will I win? Well, our eighth grade basketball coach, uh, he was a young guy, only been out of college a couple of years, not married. And uh, he was pretty cool, but, you know, sometimes he had a little edge about him. And we were all taking a knee. This was two days before the awards banquet. And we had to take a knee in lines uh, for our gym class that day. And he was in one of those moods where he was just yelling at people. And he, uh, he was yelling at one of the kids. And this kid was somebody who got picked on a lot. And it just, it bothered me. And, and I just said, coach, he's trying to do what, you, what you're telling him to do. And I talked, I talked back to the coach, which was not something I would typically do, but I just, I was frustrated. I go, he's trying to do what you're telling him to do, because I knew he was, and the kid was actually trying to do the right thing. And the coach was yelling at him, and, and, and this coach turned to me, and he points, and he goes, you just lost your award. I remember those words. I didn't know what he meant, but I, I just remember them. But of course, we went to the awards banquet, and we sat through the whole night. I'm sitting with my mom and dad, and we, we sit through the whole night, award after award, and I'm like, well, maybe this is mine. This one's mine. Maybe this one's mine all the way to the end. And I was like, they're saving the best for me. I'm gonna win Athlete of the Year back-to-back -back years. And they announced the Athlete of the Year award and it wasn't me. And I walked out uh, that night and into the car, didn't say a word, I'm in the back seat and we're driving home. And my mom and dad said, what's wrong with you? And I'm like, I didn't win an, an award. What do you mean, what's wrong with me? I'm like, about to burst into tears. And they go, well, do you play sports for awards? You know, we went through this whole thing and that's when his words came to my mind. You just lost your award. And I held on to those words for a long, long time. And I remember there was a time where I ran into that coach. I was 30 years old. I ran into him at a gym. And I saw him and I recognized him. And those words came back to me. You lost your award. And I thought back to that. And all those feelings came back again. And I realized I'd like been angry at him. And... You know, Jesus had a hold of my heart by then and had been working on me. And I, all of a sudden, I could see that guy who, by this point, you know, at that point in his life was like 40. And he wasn't coaching anymore. He was a school administrator. And I'm watching him work out. But I could see him back when he was 23, 24. And I'd lived through those years. And I thought about some of the things I said and did when I was 23, 24. And I went, oh, he didn't know. He didn't, he didn't know. I've been carrying this for 15, 16 years and he didn't know. And 
it was like I had this moment where Jesus' words, forgive them for they know not what they do, come into my mind. I, I walked over to him and I said, hey, coach. And he looks up and he goes, Bo! And I said, yeah. And we shook hands. He goes, man, your eighth grade team, that was my favorite team I ever coached. I have a basketball that all you guys sign. It sits on my desk. I think about you guys all the time. And we connected and, and talked. And I'm just so glad that we have a Savior like Jesus who was able to, to say words like that, like on the cross. So if you've been carrying something with you, like maybe you embarrassed the wrong person or there was some kind of pain that you've been carrying with you, maybe you can just hear those words of Jesus and find the freedom that comes from Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. And then you can be free and you can enjoy life the way God intends. Thank you.